good morning and welcome back to my channel so um, I wanted to share with you I got another order from um, AS Cra or ASC crafts supplies on Etsy so I wanted to show you guys real quick um, basically I was using up the paper and I was using it up really fast so I got another one um, but these couple pieces here were extra goodies that she sent me and I think they're absolutely gorgeous so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet but they're really pretty okay and then this was my order so I didn't get the rice papers the first time when I got the paper uh, so I got a couple of those uh, I think she only had two left so I only grabbed two obviously uh, these were really pretty so I grabbed those and uh, spring um, but I can use these in a lot of different things. These are Stamperia. I don't think I got anything other than Stamperia this time. Um, one of the journals that I want to start working on is a woodland journal. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a woodland winter or just a woodland, but I wanted to get some rice paper to go with it nonetheless. So I got a few of those. And then I also got, I'm not going to go through these um, like I did last time because this one is a rebuy and uh, yeah, that's it. Just this one. But still, it just, it takes a lot of time and I don't know um, how much you guys want to sit and watch the flip throughs of the papers. But if that's something you guys are interested in, just let me know and um, I can definitely do that in the future. But this one's a rebuy. This is the one that I went back for. Um, but she's got a one of her things on her one of her policies on her shop is you get free shipping if it's like over a certain amount. So I just filled it up and got my free shipping. And this one actually goes with this other rice paper. I'm gonna just put these on the bottom here. Um, this one goes with this one and I think these actually go with it as well but I'm not entirely sure but I think they do Whatever. hey cooperate paper my paper's not cooperating oh that's why <laughs> okay so anyway um, this one's called House of Roses. Oh, the other one was called Ceremony. Ceremony. This one's called House of Roses. It's really, really pretty. And then this one is called Precious. And I got this one actually to go with uh, one of my next projects. I want to start um, another journal. And I think that's what we're going to do today is we're going to start another journal. So I'll go ahead and open this one. Um, because I want to pick a cover and I haven't obviously I haven't opened them yet so I don't have any of the um, I don't have any of the cut aparts done um, but her her link will be in the description box for you guys um, I don't really need that um, so I have one already oh uh, let's see let's grab my rice paper here and we're just going to set these in here because not I don't think any of these are rebuys I think they're all just fresh buys I don't know if we're going to be messing with rice paper today I don't know I don't really have a plan for today I just knew I wanted to go ahead and start the next project um okay thank you um so I'll Anyway, I just knew I wanted to go ahead and I'm going to have to take these plastic pieces off. I wanted to start my next project. What is happening? Okay, so Stamperia has got these plastic things on the back of them. And it's making it very bulky in my folder. And I couldn't figure out why. But if I have them all going the same direction, that's why. Because that means that... All the bulk is going to be stacked. So I got some organizing done today, which I'm very pleased about, very proud of myself for. 
I haven't really had the energy to get that kind of organizing done. Um, which was another reason why I decided to, you know, go through this process of um, let's change my life type thing. Um, I hope this isn't too loud. Yeah, it's not too loud. It's just, it's pulling open because it's a very, very full folder. And I just got these folders off of Amazon. Um, but they can only take so much. You know what? Maybe I'll go ahead and seal up the rest of this just in case. Kind of preemptive, if you will. Anyway, um, yeah, I got these folders on Amazon and they are amazing. I've got like a whole shelf over here and it's got several of these folders and uh, sitting on that shelf. And the, it's just, it's really great for all kinds of stuff. I don't know if you guys remember, um, but I use Padded Heart a lot. And I've got all of her hearts sitting in one of these. Uh, it's very fat and it does not close, but it is in a folder. Um, I actually came over here for a reason because I've got some cut apart um, that I think would go well. I actually did some fussy cutting. What? I also just forgot to put my thingy back. <clears throat> so I feel kind of like I'm energetic, but at the same time, I'm very scatterbrained because I'm like, I don't know what to do. But I think we're just going to go ahead and start the next project. Um, so if you guys didn't catch yesterday's video, the Tsunami Rose um, uh, project, uh, design team project is up on Etsy now. Um, I did do a complete flip through on YouTube and I'm still trying out this whole video thing on Etsy and it is five seconds goes by really fast. So I'm not sure how much it actually does anything but it's there nonetheless because you can now add a little video clip on your Etsy listings which I think is really cool but it's only five seconds so it's like hmm what do I do with oh that is really pretty oh I like that is it bad that I just picked the cover off the first page? Wow. Got some nice tags. Some cards. Some envelopes. Ooh, some more cards. Okay, there's a lot of cut aparts in this one. Wow. Ooh, that one's nice too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one here as my cover. So let's go ahead and grab that. I set the rest of this aside. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to do anything else with that right now. So I need to cut this down to size. And we're going to cut it to 11 Oof. by 9. No, it's 12 by 9. So the height uh, is what needs to go down to 9. And I think I want this part. Because if I fold it, that's going to be the cover right there. No. trying to decide if I want this or this, but I think I want this. But I don't know how much teal I've got in this bunch that I'm doing, so I think I'm going to cut the top off. Let's see. 
It actually doesn't cut a whole lot of that top off, but cuts enough, I think. All right, so there we go. And voila, new journal start. Yay. Okay, I might have to add some feel into this. But I could also do, I wonder how many journals we could do at once. So I'm going to grab what's left of this one. And I think we can, oh, that's nice. I like that because that would make a really great inside. That would make a really great inside as well. See, this is another one that we'll have to collage the back of. I think, or we could cover it with fabric. I like this one. It's a little muted though. So let's do this one here and we'll do, ooh, I know, we will do Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, they're so cute. That's actually really adorable. I like that. Okay, so we'll do that one. And absolutely that one. So right now I'm just kind of grabbing a couple covers. Because I want to try to do multiple journals. I, I don't know that I've ever really committed to doing multiple journals lately. Um, now, I use, I did do them a couple of years ago when I didn't put anything in the journal. It was just a cover and paper and that's it. Um, so, this is going to be very interesting. So we've got one, two, three. Where'd the other one go? Um, let's see. We can do that. Four. How much of you get to cut off if I told you. Ooh, a lot. If I told you this way. Hmm. I don't know. We might have to figure something else out with Santa. Because if I fold it this way, it'll get folded in half and you can't see the reindeer. I mean, I guess it'd be all right. Hmm. I definitely want to do a Christmas one. So we'll do this one, this one, um, yeah, so that makes three, four, five, six. Oh, am I being too ambitious? Oh, hey. I don't know if I'm being too ambitious or not. Um, okay, so I absolutely want these two, for sure. And, you know, let's do four and we will add these into the pages. How about that? We'll do that a little bit later. Okay, so let's cut this up. So I definitely want this part. So we're gonna do it this way. Okay. 
And the reason I choose 9 by 12 is because a lot of my pages that I use in the journals are 8.5 by 11. And when you fold them in half, you get 8.5, so the 9 covers those pages. And then the 12 covers past the 11 when you fold it in half. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, again, definitely want those deer. There's a couple of them. There's one there, and then there's one little guy over there. And when you fold it in half, you get one on the front side, and then you get the little guy on the back side. And this is all Stamperia paper. Um, some of it is um, from Shabby Rose. Some of it is from from it's their Christmas one that they came out with um, all right there we go okay so I don't have any digitals out yet um, so that will be something that I play with uh, let's see. We could make a couple belly bands out of these. Uh, that's really pretty. And then this one definitely. That one. And that one. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do this one. I think what we're going to do with this one is cut it down here and we'll make two belly bands. So anyway, how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, oh, the organizing that I did. So when you walked into my front door, you would see this crazy monstrosity of boxes and just craziness. Um, we're gonna do an inch and a half on both of these. We may not use both of them, but do an inch and a half on both of them. Um, and it was just like this tower of boxes and containers and whatnot. And it just like, it took over my hallway because it lined the hallway. It took, it wasn't just right in front of the door. And um, so I emptied out my, my closet by my front door. It's actually supposed to be a coat closet, I'm pretty sure. And um, I emptied it out completely and reorganized that closet to take some of the um, storage containers that were in the hallway. And I actually ended up getting rid of a lot of stuff as well. Um, I've got, I don't even know because it's just kind of in a pile at the moment. Um, but I have got a bunch of stuff that I need to take to the thrift store. But my local thrift store isn't taking donations at the moment, and I don't really want to throw it away. So um, it's just going to get boxed up and put in my garage, I think. Um, but are y'all's local thrift stores taking donations that you know of? I know a lot of them are open for business, but I don't know how many of them are like taking donations. Um, because something that we're deciding to do is we are not going out until, um, that's pretty. I mean, I like this one better though. We're not going out unless we absolutely have to until after his surgery. Um, cause we don't want to take any unnecessary risks, you know? So, um, okay. I think that'll work. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to be a little more mindful with the, the additives. 
like what goes inside. So we're not going to sew anything together right this second because um, I still have to print and such like that. But what I can do is I can grab the pages. So I'm just going to count one, two, and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 10 pages of paper here and then um, maybe add extra things like envelopes, vellum, stuff like that. So there's one. And one, two, three, four, five. There's okay, the second one. And so, like I said, I haven't done this in a very long time, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. It might be a complete disaster, but if we're lucky, we'll get some pretty awesome journals. Okay, and then one more, because I do like the vellum. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with it this time. I don't know. But I love playing with vellum if you guys haven't figured that out already. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And um, as always, this is paper. That is, you know, I think I'm going to grab a, a few extras. Um, anyway, this is paper that has been dyed by Miss Emily. Of a vintage polka dot. Alright, so that's two. I'm getting lighter pieces is what I'm doing. Because uh, these are a little more, uh, they're darker. And they're kind of like more orangey. One, two, three. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Much better. Okay, I uh, don't think this is needed, but. And then we can also add extra stuff into there, like um, the avocado dye paper. Um, the I really like the writing paper. So let's go ahead and grab one of those for each. So one, two, three, and four. I think. Yep. I was gonna say I think that came from Emily too. It did. I would say at least half of the the paper in my file cabinet was dyed by Miss Emily. At least half. All right. Um, so there's one. And I'm not going to fold these yet because I still need to print on them. So I'm basically just kind of getting them ready to be printed on. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to print each set according to their covers. Um, because I actually have, um, I can give you a sneak peek because I only have two pages printed right now. Um, but it is a new set that I'm working on. And yellow. This is one of the pages. And this is one of the pages. And like I said, I've only got two pages printed out right now. Um, but that's that's the the first go of it. Um, 
Oh, I know what we can do. We can take some of these. They're going to need to be cut down again. Uh, cut down to, I think we're going to do eight and a half. Oi. Okay. Um, and then we can make our belly bands. Or at least some of them. So. Dish one. Bloop. Thank you, Cupcake. And see, something like this you can use on those um, collage pieces. So I wouldn't throw those away. Oh, well, they're both so pretty. I don't know which one to use. I'll do this one. And see, this is also a great way to utilize your scraps. It limits the amount of scraps. So right now, out of those four sheets of paper, these are our scraps. Oh, that is blinding. Is that better? A little bit, maybe? Oh, anyway, that's our scraps. Which is pretty cool. Okay. I'm just over here throwing stuff. Don't mind me. And some of these you can even make into tags, like that one's a pretty decent size. Okay. And see also what this does is by making the belly bands now, if we use Fabri-Tac on lace, which we're going to, then it will give it time to dry before we put it inside the pages because we don't know where they're going yet. No clue. We just know we're making a couple belly bands. And same with the pockets. We may not even use them all. So like not the pockets, but like the pockets and tags that we made with that ginormous, ridiculously large uh, collage sheet. Yeah, that thing. Um, oh, these are the cut aparts. I will most likely be using those in the journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, or journals. Journals. I forget, there's more than one. Okay, so I pulled out a couple laces. Um, there is, well, my fave, the pink one. Love this lace. And then I got another one here. Um, this is how I store my laces when I inventory them. I take them and I chop up um, a box that I have received and wrap them around. <laughs> so I have an entire dresser full of these like that. And then we've also got this one here that we used in the last one. Um, this one I did not put on cardboard, obviously. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so not sure what we're going to do, but I definitely want this one on one of these big old huge pieces of lace that's not big enough. But this one is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And actually, I think 
I'm going to do something real wonky here. I'm going to round the corners. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, that's really cool. All right, so it looks like we're going to ink the, at least one of these journals because this one I feel like really needs that ink. Um, yeah, we'll do it. And I guess we could just ink all of them that way. They can go pretty much wherever. Oh, and I really do like this brush versus the um, the sponge because it gives you kind of more of an even, less like you actually did it look. Because you know how like um, sometimes when you use the sponge and you ink around the edges, it looks like you inked around the edges. Yeah, the brush doesn't really give you that. See, it's just really smooth. So let's do that with all of these. Well, I guess we don't necessarily need to do it with all of them. Definitely want to do it with some. Anyway, do you guys have a favorite tool that you use for inking? I know I'm probably weird with that hole. Um, I don't want it to look like I inked it. I want it to actually look distressed. I'm probably weird with that, but that's okay. Because, you know, like, I've bought things before, and, like, when... And I'll, that's the only reason that I really know the difference, but, um, like, you can tell that it was inked, not that it was actually distressed. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. A little different. Um, you know, I wonder if I've got any super flat corner pieces. Hmm. I don't know if I do. I'm sure I do somewhere. Oi. Hi, Poppy. My Poppy comes to say hello. Oh, there might be some in here. There's something in here. Yeah, but see, this is how a lot of my stuff is organized. It's not. <laughs> like, I've had so many people, are they're just like, oh my gosh, I love how you're organized. I'm like, <laughs> you're so cute. I mean, thanks, but I'm not really. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. I'll just do this. And let's see. I think we'll do these two and see how it goes from there. All right. Boop. Oh, did I tell you guys I found my other pen? It was stabbed into my glue bottle. Like, not as a hole holder, but it was stabbed into the top of the glue bottle. It was kind of funny. I need to scoot up some. I'm like way back. I'm like, why do I keep getting off frame? Because I'm not scooted up to my desk. That's why. Um. Ooh. 
I know something else that we need to do is we really need to work on getting some book pages taken care of because we I've got a lot of book pages. So that is definitely something that is on the agenda. Oh my gosh, Wayne picked me up last night for the first time in like forever. He picked me up and I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? Nothing. Like, You're going to break yourself. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, okay. So cool. And so that will be a belly band. Oh, you know what? It might actually be cute to, I mean, we can't do it with one of these, but we can always get another sheet of paper. We could put a belly band on the front of one of these covers. Oh, that would be super cute. Okay, let's see. How wide are you? Will you work? Ooh, not really. Let's grab one that's not quite so wide. Oh, see, that one's way better. See, we could even layer these. Like that. Okay, I like this. This is working. All right, so we inked, so now we have to ink again. And I really don't mind inking, but if I start inking, I try to finish the project instead of having like half inked, half not inked, because <laughs> that looks silly. Well, to me. I think it looks silly. Anyway, yeah, what are y'all's favorite tools that you use? Like, what is your go-to tool? What's your favorite glue? Do you have a favorite pair of scissors? I have a favorite pair of scissors. You're looking at them. Unfortunately, I think I need to get another pair of scissors. That or figure out how to sharpen these things. I know they make scissor sharpeners, um, like in the sewing department of like Joann's or whatever, but yeah, I remember that whole limited going out thing. I wonder if I can find some on Amazon. That'd be cool. Oh, something else that someone had mentioned with the whole inking thing to make it look more authentic versus like, okay, you're just inking around the edge, um, is to use multiple colors. Someone said that like a couple of years ago, and I don't remember who it was, but it was not my idea. Not at all. I'm just repeating what was said. Um, I haven't tried it, but I think that it would be really cool. I'm just taking a cup a little bit of that bright blue off is what I was doing with that. There we go. I'm pulling you guys in just a little bit, even though we're almost done for the day. Um, that's the wrong direction. There we go. Hello. There we go. 
Voila. I got one. I'm not pretty. I didn't do in too far. Okay, meow. I love this. As soon as I saw that edge, I was like, oh, that'll make a perfect belly band. Bloop, 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 bloop. name these guys. I don't know what to name them. Just, I mean, I guess we really could go journal A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but I want to name them. Because my last two books had names. Or am I just being silly? Some of that glue from the, uh, when you take the thing apart, that's what that was. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. And this is why I love lace. Gosh, I, I've got so much lace. I have, you know, I would be scared to actually count the yardage of lace that I have. Mainly because my husband, I would be worried that my husband would be like, okay, you've got like 95 billion gajillion yards of lace. Stop buying lace. <laughs> Not that he would ever do that, but... We're going to pull it down just a little bit so I can trim the top. And then we're going to make that straight because woo -wee, that's not straight. All right. Oh, that is so cool. That would help if I cut straight, huh? Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. Okay. So, we might continue to make some belly bands and um, cards tomorrow. I'm not sure. I really want to try. Um, today is Wednesday, so I'm filming the day before you see this. Um, because for the last few days, I've been working on this kit to get it done. Um, that way I can get it up. So um, it still has a lot of tweaking to do. So um, anyway, but I'm not sure what we're going to do just yet. Um, so yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. Anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done playing with the belly bands. So that's it for today. We went ahead and started the process on four journals. So just in case you forget, there's the two belly bands. There's journal one, two, three, love that one, and four. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.